the race, the Global Men's Solar Coach, and you're at home with me. And um, listen, I want to talk with you briefly about two very important things. The first one is uh, rejection and um, not necessarily about overcoming it, but how to um, handle it, how to self-lead or, or govern yourself when you're going through a series or a period of rejection. Everybody uh, in this life is going to experience rejection. And that leads me to my second point of, um, you know, overcoming adversity and dealing with tough times. Tough times are going to come. And a lot of times, tough times um, are uh, immersed, <laughs> if you will, in rejection and adversity and you know, all of this toxic stuff that um, is not meant to beat us down, but they're meant to kind of help undergird us and to build our character and make us better people. Listen, um, when we're going through tough times, it's not meant to feel good. It doesn't feel good. It's not even realistic to think that it's going to feel good because it's not. Um, but again, remember, it's all about a matter of perspective. When we look at adversity and tough times as opportunities, um, I'm not saying that they'll be easy, but they will be better, you know, maneuvering and navigating and finding uh, rest in those situations becomes easier because now you, you, you're you looking at it from a perspective of how can I grow through this? What is the learning what are the lessons that I'm learning in this situation? You know, what are the learning opportunities here? Um, and, um, you know, who can I help along the way? Either while I'm going through it or when I come out of it. Because there's nothing um, that we go through in this life that's not valuable. Everything has value. Everything even the tough times, even the adverse times, they're all, they're all worth something. Um, and if you take a look at yourself and you really dig deep, you'll find out what those things are. Um, when it comes to rejection, especially, a lot of times it seems like it comes one after the other, bam, 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 bam. And sometimes it is like that. And other times it's really not like that, but it just feels like that because of all of the other things that you're going through and everything just kind of, it's like this massive cloud and all of this storm comes at you at one time. And it's really just one storm, but it feels like one after the other after the other because it's incessant rain. And then you throw in a little bit of adversity. Maybe, you know, you, you get a little cold and that's like wind beating, howling wind beating up against the window and it's knocking the trees and you can't get any rest because it's just boom, 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 one thing after the other. And then the rain slacks off and you think you're good, but then it starts raining again. So now it feels like it's more, 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 more. But really a lot of times it's just one storm. It's just one storm, but it feels like so much more. And um, rejection is often like that. It just comes and it seems like it just comes, but it, it comes in ways and sometimes it does. It's one after the after the other. But the thing about it is it's not bad. It's not failure. It's not failure. It's none of those things. It's an opportunity. Like I said, it's a learning opportunity. It's an opportunity to figure out where you're supposed to be, who you're supposed to be with, connecting with. When you start figuring those things out, you'll recognize some patterns. And as you identify those patterns, you know what happens? You don't ask those people. You don't hang with those people anymore. Or you don't do those same things anymore. You don't go those same places. You don't, those places that rejected you because they really weren't for you. They weren't the right thing. They couldn't handle what you are offering or whatever the case may be. Once you figure out the path and you figure out the group of people, rejection becomes less and less. 
And as you start elevating and elevating and growing and you climb that ladder, because remember, I say that we're always at the bottom at some point, even when you you, we're, we're, you might be here and you your goal is to get here. Once you get here, that's a new bottom for you. You got to start. You're starting over to another level. And so as you start climbing, you start getting to the next bottom. You realize, OK, I know how to navigate these things. I know how to navigate adversity. The waters get a little bit deeper, but it's still choppy. It's the same choppiness. It's the same wind, okay? But it just seems like it's a little bit more massive. I'm still, I still know how to maneuver it. So adversity, rejection, hard times, all those things are to build our character, to make us better people. But it helps us navigate this thing called life, and that's part. That's who we are, and that's that's what makes us humans, and that's what makes up makes us better people, because. We're learning how to navigate this thing called life and adversity and, and rejection and hard times are part of that. But I'm telling you, those tough times don't last always. They're not forever. Adversity is not forever. Rejection is not forever. Um, it doesn't feel good. Trust me. I mean, if it, if it was, if, <laughs> if it did, trust me, people wouldn't, I mean, listen, oh, I'm telling you, but it's, excuse me, you guys, I'm, it's nighttime. It's like midnight, <laughs> but I want to talk to you. Um, listen, it's, it's never the end. It's never the end. It's just the beginning. And when you start changing the way you look at rejection, adversity, hard times, you'll realize it's not as bad as I think. Yeah, the pressure is going to get to you. You're human. But you have to tell yourself, it's not easy. I'm not sitting here telling you some butterflies and fairy tales because I'm sleepy and just rambling off. No, I'm telling you the truth. The reality is, it gets better. When you change the way you think about things, your perspective, your outlook, things really do get better. So, until next time, you guys, this is a very, very late night, early morning, because it's midnight, at home with Dr. Ace, the Global Mentor Coach. I do hope you guys had a fantastic day, and uh, remember to spread lots of love and light. Until next time. <laughs>